Hey guys, wanted to bring you a review of tonight's Thursday night football game of the Browns and Bengals. It was not even a close game. I uh, thought it would have been a lot closer if you look at it at the beginning. Uh, again, it's another Thursday night game that's a bad product of the day and schedule. Um, but if it was actually, I would say, a regular Sunday game or a Monday night game, I think the game would have been better. Um, again, it's one of those few games um, this year that you could get that was very close, but uh, this this game was not even close to begin with. Um, so the takeaways I, I noticed right away was that Andy Dalton looked horrible, and uh, he's actually on one of the fantasy teams we have here, and he did not look great. Um, luckily, he is actually a backup for us. Um, and, and our starter is actually on that particular team is Matthew Stafford, but he's not blowing any numbers right away. But um, interesting stat also when I noticed um, when they brought up on the NFL Network, he's two and nine in the big games. Um, now their definition is primetime games and playoff games. That's not very good. Yeah, uh, you can't get by and hope that this is your franchise quarterback to get you to the next level. So that's another eyebrow raiser. Now a lot of people could complain that it's Marvin Lewis. Um, now he's gotten the team pretty good where they're at, but he's just barely better than mediocre. They get to the playoffs and then choke. Now would you blame the coach or the quarterback because quarterback is pretty important out there and he does not show up for those big games so there I would not be surprised if they have to eventually make that big change like I would want to compare him to Matthew uh, or not Matt, uh, Matt Schaub that eventually he's going to be like that uh, career where he's going to have to leave or get traded or something but um, Matt Hoyer, again, he's more of a game manager. Um, the defense for the Cleveland Browns played really well. Had uh, three interceptions. That's really great. Um, three separate touchdowns for each running back. Um, so, it, and it was really hard if you play fantasy football, which one uh, to take, Wes or um, Ben Tate, but both of them score touchdowns. Um, Isaiah Crow also scored a touchdown. Uh, Joe Hay Hayden um, did really well against A.J. Green. So, I mean, that's another good piece that they have. The Cleveland Browns, a shutdown cornerback. Defense looked great. Um, and Devin still, um, great, great story with him and his daughter. Um, hopefully she's going to be cancer free. Um, can't imagine what he's going through with his family, especially as a soon to be dad. Yeah, I can't imagine how I would feel if that was um, myself being, being put on that position. So maybe he had a, a heavy heart, especially with the team. Um, uh, the crowd was really supportive of Leah Strong. So the atmosphere was great and everything. It, it's just um, Andy Dalton wasn't there today. Um, so um, it, it just, one of the telltale plays I thought that you could tell something was wrong. And I don't know if he got hit hard earlier or something, but um, he crossed the line of scrimmage and still throw it when he's almost past the line of, um, the first down marker. So it was really odd. Why would you do that when you gotta know where the markers are? That's usually a rookie mistake. So unless he has a concussion or got hit hard or something, but if I was Marvin Lewis, I would have asked him what is going on. Why did you throw the ball after the line of scrimmage and you almost had a first down anyway? That's my question. And then him. Marvin Lewis getting hit on the sideline on special teams. It just was a mess for the Cincinnati Bengals. Um, that um, AFC North 
brutal. All the teams are above 500, and that's what we predicted early on um, at the beginning of the season. This is probably one of the best. Actually, it might be the best at this t time because of if you go based on records, how well they're doing. So, hats off to that division. If you're a fan of any, any of those teams, hats off to you guys. It's going to be brutal down the stretch. Um, I mean, I, I could see three out of four making it, but four out of four, very tough to do. Um, I, I, I don't know if that's going to be done, uh, but it, it, it could be possible. Um, because it, 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 you're going to have the wild card games there, so it, it will be interesting to see. Other than that, um, I thought Cleveland showed up. Cincinnati did not. The fans showed up um, from Cleveland, drove down to Cincinnati. So kudos if you actually drove down for the game, if you're a Cleveland Browns fan, and you probably enjoyed it. And looks like the Browns are for reals for this season. Um, it will be an interesting um, situation when Hoyer's contract comes up, which I believe is at the end of this year, um, and what's going to happen with him and Johnny Manziel. Is this a situation like the San Diego Chargers with Drew Brees and Phillip Rivers at the time? And you might be wondering if how Drew Brees left and maybe Hoyer will leave at the same time but he's a hometown hero right now and he sounds like he would definitely want to stay in Cleveland so we'll see how that plays out go ahead and like share comment subscribe if you like this video of this review uh, to go ahead and help support this channel thanks